I'm so sorry. I'm so guys. <laughs> you had to wait a whole week to watch this next episode and I know, I know, I know. It's just the best Yu-Gi-Oh series on the internet and you know, having to wait an entire week to get to the next episode every time, every single time. It's just not fair. But dry your tears because the Stone Tablet series half return. If you're new here, I always gotta explain just in case. There's a whole playlist of these episodes. Basically what I do, I pull a random minifigure from here and then whatever I get, I have to make a deck with that figure. And it's actually kind of funny if you look at this, the whole top row is done and we've also done Jinzo, Joey, and that means the only three left are these three, which is a little concerning because anytime I get a dupe now, well, dupes are just gonna be a lot more common. So there could be, God, what I'm dreading is I run out of these figures and I keep getting dupes and like, what if what if Target stops selling them? Oh man, I, I might need to just buy them out. But nevertheless, ah, opening this up the true way they're meant to be opened with sword. Actually don't do this because uh, I don't wanna be liable for you chopping your finger off. All right, our next stone tablet is without further ado, <laughs> We've already done this. Dupe claws, Joey Wheeler. We already kicked people's keister. All right, I canonically only have five more of these, so there's a chance we keep getting dupes, man. All right, next one. Don't be a dupe. Sagi. <laughs> oh no. Come on, come on. We gotta, we gotta put something dramatic on now because. <laughs> oh no. Come on. All right, just don't be dupes, man. I want to record an episode. I want to record an episode. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yes! Yes! Red Eyes Black Dragon! And again, I have to let everyone know and prove that it's not sponsored because once again, once again, for the third or fourth time this has happened, it's just all black. Bro, his name is Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is just Black Dragon. All right, well, nevertheless, we got Red Eyes and luckily, luckily, who am I kidding? I'm not prepared. All right, I'm gonna whip up a Red Eyes deck and actually my editor wanted to see if I could cook with Red Eyes. You can do it. I don't know. <laughs> we gonna find out. And he gonna edit it. So uh, I'll see you when the deck is made. All right, the Red Eyes Bird deck has been created. It's gonna be a little weird too. It's actually the next day. I recorded that intro yesterday because that was recorded on the 4th of July. Wow, fire. But with that said, it took me a while to build the deck. By the time I finished that, you know, the festivities had begun. So I was like, I guess I'll push the recording to tomorrow, which is why I decided to put the same shirt on so it wasn't too jarring for you. But I have to admit something. Look at this deck. You're gonna see, it looks weird, okay? This deck is not built for the Oonga Boonga back and forth punching. It is built around getting this guy out and blowing my opponent up with Inferno Fire Blast. Now, if you look at this card, the materials it needs is a Red Eyes monster and a level six dragon monster. So the beauty of that is we get to run the Bistules. They're level six dragons. It's just perfect. It helps us keep up with some of the scary decks out there. And there's also a chance our opponent could be playing the Bistule cards, which means they are all super poly targets. So our main objective with this deck is to <laughs> incinerate our opponent. Look, I have a confession to make. Because I built the deck yesterday, I took my phone to, you know, do the 4th of July festivities, but before everything got going, I played a few games on mobile, you know, just to get acclimated with the deck, but God, I wish I recorded it because I pulled off the unthinkable and I'm just gonna show you. I need you guys, look, see, and, and I could just show you what the deck is capable of. This is a replay from a duel that I did yesterday with the deck. I need you guys, I need you guys to see it. This is what the deck can do. <laughs> I'm going turn one and I already have game in my hand. Usage rate 0.001% by the way. Combine these two to form. Meteor Black Comet Dragon, it comes out, what does it do? I throw away a red eyes card and then it inflicts half the attack points as damage. Infernal Fire Blast, damage. And Infernal Fire Blast, damage, FTK. <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, if I don't pull that, I, I had to show it just in case I don't pull it off in the video, man. But it's so funny. Like, <laughs> that guy was probably like, oh, it's red eyes, free win. And then, uh, yeah, free for me. I have two. 
two variants of this deck. This one is the burn deck that I'm going to be playing at first because obviously you see what it's capable of and how funny it can be. We have red eyes burn in this deck, which basically if a red eyes card is destroyed, both of us take damage equal to the red eyes cards attack points, which is why I'm running torrential tribute. So, you know, I could blow up my own card and then potentially also have this and incinerate my opponent bunch of draw cards to make sure that we actually draw into the combo and then again the bestial card so i mean pretty standard here for the red eye slash deck it's a little different as you can see we have to include some warriors into it that could uh potentially be attached to our red eye slash dragon who i think is a super cool card so they're two different decks i'm gonna see if i can get a win with both of them uh but we're gonna start with the burn one because as you saw the potential that the deck has is very high but it's also very bad i mean there's a lot of bricks in this deck i'm gonna go first just in case but really all i need is if i get two inferno fire blasts and any way to get out meteor comet dragon or whatever then i just win especially if they don't have any interruptions all right so we have red eyes burn allure of darkness card of stone redstone okay i'm gonna start with cards of the redstone this is kind of like pot of greed except not nearly as good you uh discard one red eyes draw two he has no interruptions love to hear that we have one infernal fire blast i will send a card away just to mill out the deck a little bit we're gonna send this away all right then we're gonna allure of darkness hope we get something good red eyes okay red eyes inside is really good and we're actually gonna banish this all right so we don't have game but we are going to inflict some pain <laughs> laugh track all right so we're gonna play red eyes insight god i wish this could search out infernal fire blast but i guess that would make it like too broken we're gonna send this away and we are just gonna grab we already have a red eyes burned and i'll only need one i'm just gonna grab this red eyes fusion which i'm not even gonna play actually i should have grabbed the other red eyes burn now that i think about it we're actually gonna do it this way so black metal dragon as long as i get one black metal dragon i have a guaranteed way to get out uh the meteor black dragon activate black metal dragon in the grave and we are i guess we could just grab this no 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 we need this we need this grab darkness metal dragon and then special summon it by banishing this activate and bring out black metal dragon again because this is not a once per turn card any card that's not once per turn is crazy activate black metal dragon i'm gonna grab a second red eyes burn just in case we are gonna activate preta plant verte anaconda take 2k damage to bring out meteor black drago ah! activate inflict a little damage we're gonna send that away boom then we're gonna activate infernal fire blast to do 3500 damage <laughs> set two red eyes burn so if you destroy my this is just a ticking time bomb now if you destroy this you will simply lose and this deck has not been optimized yet like i'm still thinking about it as i play like if i were to have i don't know should i run multiple torrential tributes to make sure i can pop this do i just play self-destruct potion there, there's a lot of options but like for example if he plays right geki right here i just win i could get kaiju though if i get kaiju i will be of the depression fire formation ancient warriors i am scared i don't know exactly what these guys do i have to hope that either they punch this thing to destroy it that's the best case scenario because damage step i could activate this in damage step you guys don't know Yu-Gi-Oh terms and there's a lot of cards that can't activate so if he had a negate for example he wouldn't be able to activate it in response to uh in response to red eyes burn so literally i just need him to de to destroy this man it's just this is a bomb on the field it's a bomb on the field please bro But how strong are you oh you're almost strong enough come on just get a little stronger come on maybe i should have put it in defense mode yes 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 wait what what yes activate but what what why can't i why can't i activate red eyes burn why wasn't i able to activate did he do something that prevents that oh yes anyway goodbye you lose you lose goodbye sayonara i got scared but truly i was just better all along i was just better all along <laughs> the red eyes burn deck is kind of
kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was racking up some on mobile because again, I, w I wasn't home to record, but I was racking up some dubs with this, man. I know editor happy. I know he salivating at the bit looking at this. He's a red eye fan. Now, I will at least try one or two with a red eye slash dragon. As you can see, this this the burn variation of this, and this is unoptimized red eyes. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier, but in case you guys, well, I know you're watching this in the future. Again, this is recorded July uh, 5th right now. And I bring that up to say, I bring that up to say, I don't know if there's been new red eyes uh, support dropped since uh the recording of this like there's a red eyes alternative dragon there's like uh red eye soul or something like that there's a lot of red eyes cards that are currently not in master duel as of july 5th so uh and these are super pre-recorded so uh yeah keep that in mind let's start with black metal dragon i'm guessing he has a super polymerization let's turn this into strike a dragon Get out of my face and it is super poly bistro magnum hut's actually really good with this deck too because it searches out any of my dragons that i need during the end phase so could come in handy also against this uh despia fool i'm sure it's gonna come in handy we are just gonna add vanilla actually we'll add red eyes black flare dragon and since i know his hand is clear now we are going to card of the red stone send it away to draw two Damn it. Damn it. My luck. My luck stat is not as high this time. Do I want to to mill out my deck a little bit? Nah, I'm not going to because I think I want to draw level seven red eye so I could use this again. I wish this wasn't once per turn. All right. I'm actually going to just set and end here because I want to force him into maybe having to banish his own card because what a lot of Despia players or people who play Mirror J do is they'll banish their own card just so they get um, Albion into the grave. All right, yeah, we are going to call by that. You ain't getting no bestials, buddy. If bestial Magnum Hut gets uh, banished, then so be it. I'm sure it will. Gonna banish his Fallen of Albaz. And now his whole graveyard is pretty much clear of monsters, at least. Gonna put this in defense mode and basically try to convince him to use Mirror Jade's effect. Activate this. So that way, at the start of our next turn, we'll have whatever dragon we need. Because, yeah, you, you'll banish me. I'll take some damage, but uh, overall, I like what I get out of this uh, out of this exchange. And I don't have to worry about this pesky banish effect next turn. All right, we are just going to add, well, we want to mill out our deck probably. So I'm going to add just a vanilla red eyes because that's be a level seven red eyes that I send away with cards of the redstone and just hope I don't draw another vanilla red eyes. Don't. Thank you. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I like I like the trajectory of this. All right, so I'm actually going to do Red Eyes Fusion first. I'm doing this first because I want to mill up my deck even more. So I make sure I have a higher chance of drawing uh, another Infernal Fire Blast. Because if I do, I can just win the game. Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Activate. Oh, damn. That scared me. I was like, is that a... There's no way that's a negate. <laughs> Please say it ain't so. All right, we are going to send away our last... Uh, you know what? Let's send away one of these and do a little more damage. Then we are going to card of the red stone. And this is where all the money is made. I need one more infernal fire blast. Oh, damn it. But we got a super poly. I'm not mad at super poly. I think super poly wins us the game too. All right. Uh, infernal fire blast. Why can't I use his as material? Because that card sucks, that's why. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Ladies and fellas, men, I regret to inform you that I forgot. Red Eyes Fusion seems like such a good card, but what sucks about it is you can't summon anything else after you've played it. Oh, no. Okay, Red Eyes Insight. We're just gonna have to maximize on what we can do with what we got. Yes, we grab Red Eyes Burn, even though our card is surely going to be banished. I set this. Set this. I don't want to attack this right now because it'll blow up my field end phase. And I would love that if I already had this in play or if I could activate it the turn that it will set. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Damn, I just... Oh, my God. You know what I'll do? Oh, I'll take the plunge. I'll take the plunge. I'd rather destroy it and just get banished than, you know, just letting him keep this card. What? 
Oh, I forgot. Inferno Fire Blast doesn't let Red Eyes attack. We're seeing the weaknesses, baby. We're seeing the weaknesses. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. All right, and I think I need to activate Super Poly before he activates this. I just turned Toggle to on, it might be too late. Before he activates, okay, okay. Oh, this is perfect, this is perfect. Because he can't respond to Super Poly, so I could still be in the clear. Whatever he brings out, I'm gonna activate Super Poly. We're gonna get rid of both. He can't respond with Mirror Jade, and then Mirror Jade's effect will destroy Red Eyes and Phase, and then I'll win the game. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Gotta do it now. Gotta do it now. Gotta do it now. We gotta do it now. Ratio, I'll be having lots. Dragostapalia. And that might have just won us the game. That might have just won us the game, baby. Yeah, destroy all monsters end phase. That's fine. That's fine. Do it. Ain't nobody scared of this pony. My little pony, you're gonna get blown up. No! Oh, damn! Bro, you're, my whole field was gonna get destroyed. Why, why are you running, bro? The only thing that I hate about pre-recording these, man, is I want y'all to see this like, it's July 5th. I want y'all to see this July 6th, bro. I want y'all to gas me up. I'm making red eyes work in this modern economy. What? And this is before it has like new support. I don't know if it's gonna get like more support, but I know the TCG has support that Master Duel doesn't. So it's just a matter of time before this video becomes outdated, but it's working now. Imagine me with the support. Let's start with, if he has Ash Blossom, I think I would rather him Ash Blossom, Red Eyes Insight, because the Fist Shield stuff could keep me alive. But if he doesn't have anything, then I'm more than okay with that. Magnum Hut! The only issue is if I play, you know what, I'll save Magnum Hut. So this is not gonna be an OTK of any sort, but you know, I showed you all the replay. It can happen. Boom. Ancient Warriors again. How am I? Bro, I never run into this deck, and now I've run into it twice. Ultimate Slayer. Send one monster. Uh, target one. Uh, uh, shuffle it into the deck. So it ain't so. Oh! I didn't even know you had an animation. This card is really cool. I know I read it for like the first time, but you know, I've, I've seen that card before. Uh, draw a card. Okay. Do I just lose? Do I get OTK'd here? Is this where our hero falls? I just, I just, I just hope I can survive. I just don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'm cooked. Ultimate Slayer kind of cooked me. It's what I would say if I thought I was cooked at all, pussy. I'm not cooked. You are. Get rid of this Garura. Bro, please let it resolve. You can't. Yeah. What are you going to do? Called by, bro, there's only one Magnum Hut. There's only one Magnum Hut. I got scared. Thank God I didn't target one of mine. If I would have targeted one of mine, he could have got rid of it. Defense mode. Brought to y'all be activating that. Wait, what? We're not in it. This game is over. <laughs> oh, that's kind of good. That's kind of a good card. Hold on, what's the math here? Wait, shit. Oh, shit. I helped him win. I would have survived, actually. I would have survived. I would have survived by 100. <laughs> But I did three. You know, one more with the burn variant, and then I'll probably just do one with the slash variant, man. Bro's name is Muda 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 Muda. For all these branded players, bro, you're on brand for being a non-creative bitch. I'm still being patient here. I need to wait to see what this board looks like. Surely, just Mirror Jade these players aren't creative; they just do what the internet tells them to do. Shocker. Now I will activate Ball Drake. We'll save Magnum Hut for something else. I'm sure I'm just gonna get banished. Magnum Hut is gonna be for when he sends away Albion, which I'm sure he's gonna do. Because again, it's just textbook. They're not gonna do anything that surprises you. All right, well, consider me uh, incorrect. Nicely played, Muda 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 Muda. I will activate one for one. One for one, part. I forgot it had to be a monster. I thought I could send away one of these red eyes fusions. I have made a dire error anyway. Black Metal Dragon, and I might have just thrown this game. I'm not going to lie, because now I can't even play this because I've summoned. It's the only thing that sucks about this card. 
You know what? I know. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. He's gonna make a mistake, not me. I've already made my mistake for the duel. I'm not making another. Strike out, Dragon. Bro, banish me. Hurry up. Mm, no. God, I hate when these players think that they're smart, but really they're just like not stupid. I have to convince him to use this banish effect, man. Because my goal <laughs> now, if I can get this little nasty thing out, bro, I could uh, I could super poly over his cards. But I need to get past this banish effect because I know they'll just banish if I turn it into uh, Verte Anaconda. It's looking like an L, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay. He just doesn't want to banish anything. Okay. Fair enough. Why'd I set this? I Okay. All right. You know what? Let's try the red-eye slash variant. Why did I set that when I was supposed to banish uh, the card that was in the graveyard at that very moment? Who knows? <laughs> Laugh to cover up pain. Red Eye Slash, this variant, I don't really need to go over too much. It's kind of similar, has some bestial cards. What we're going to be trying to do, though, is our main ace is going to be getting out Red Eye Slash. We attach it with Nasty Warrior, Stanky Warrior, Scary Warrior. Pretty similar, just, you know, a little different. We have some extra equip spells thrown in here, like uh, Red Eye's thing with chain is actually really good i was thinking of running this at like honestly now that i'm shit at three shit what am i doing three of them tanks i'm taking this out i don't even need that you know what i might take this out too i'm gonna take out one of these yeah that's what i'm gonna do yup 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 this is the deck this is the deck it's never gonna lose watch this I'm only laughing because, please, take a gander at my fusion material. Red eyes, black dragon, and one warrior. That means I simply have to get a meaningless red eyes onto the field and then... Mm, you are fucked. Or I'll probably just super poly, you know, whatever you leave on your end board and uh, make you cry. But until then, Marv, I'll be over here. Looking this way, editor, <laughs> mask motion. Until this turn is over. Brief intermission in this uh, fast motion. This guy is still playing. This guy's still playing. Not realizing that I'm just going to ruin his day. <laughs> 12 cards in the graveyard and you have one, two, three. You still have five cards in your hand. What, what's good? This is not your end board. I am sick. There is no way that you made me sit that long for this to be your end board. Just for me to play one card and ruin your entire day. Oh, DP. I, I wouldn't even looking. Okay, DP. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Ah, you could Sharen. Now, what you could do is Sharen. Uh, yeah, I'll be having those. Hurry up, so I can hurry up and like ruin your day or whatever, man. I'll activate the Bestial Lubellion. I will grab Magnum Hut, 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 Hi, Magnum Hut. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and activate Magnum Hut. I'm going to banish this. I don't know what it does, but it looks scary. You got the whole fucking A team on there. So I'm just going to get rid of that just in case. You know, <laughs> I ain't reading it, but I'm going to get rid of it. All right. I'm going to bring out Magnum Hut. Activate Magnum Hut. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all all going to be saying Magnum Hut. Hut, Hut. Hi, Magnum Hut. Oh, so you're going to imper me? <laughs> you think that's going to save you, partner? A hurt, a hurt, a hurt. Oh, you have no more responses? Damn. Looks like I have to win now. All right. Strike all dragon. Activate black metal dragon. Oh, you have ash too? What do you have? What, you up to something downright devious, ain't you? Let me grab my royal finish red ice darkness metal dragon, bro. Let me go ahead and do that. Get rid of this. Yeah. Activate this. All right, let me actually read this. What, what, what does that do? He has something that could activate when I went into my extra deck. Like, there was a delay there. I don't know what it was, though. You know what? Just to be safe, just to be safe, let's start with this. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Relinquished anima's gonna steal your card. Feliz anima. Feliz anima. Relinquished anima's gonna take your card belongs to me now that is game but i said i'm gonna bring out slash dragon and i've never been a liar i've never been somebody who lies to the public 
I've never been somebody who lies to the public. I will finish you off the way that I want to finish you off, partner. By sending away my Red Ice Fusion. I call forth Red Ice slash Dragon. Yes, Red Eyes Insight. Just because I am BMing you now. Thoughts? You have Ash Blossom? What are you... What are you doing over there, bro? I am here to ruin your day. I am here to ruin your day. You were playing Elemental Heroes and you took so fucking long. But I had Super Polly. I had Super Polly. There's the rhythm. I had Super Polly, and I yoinked all of your cards off the field. You had a mask chain, but it didn't work. Because Super Polly ruins your day. You cannot activate cards in response to it. And then I beat your ass. <laughs>